Fuzz Talk Radio International Conglomeration Enterprises in association with Fuzz Jock Radio Productions does not endorse, approve, or have insider knowledge about sports, sports betting, or any beneficial knowledge whatsoever. Fuzz Jock cannot be held responsible for personal decisions made up to and including sports betting, alcoholism, pregnancy, and or stock choices. Listening to Fuzz Jock Radio has been found to cause cancer in the state of California. Side effects include mood swings, hot flashes, cold flashes, and dizziness. If listening to Fuzz Jock Radio for more than four hours, please consult with a mortician. Fuzz Jock Radio is proudly produced by prison labor in the People's Republic of Transnistria. Оказавшись в ловушке в студии подкастов. Disappointing for sure that, that you worked that hard and don't get any points out of the game. Buzzcock Radio. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We are here. Ooh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Wow. They're applauding your dance moves. And this audience is something else. Woo. Mm-hmm. They take the breath out mm-hmm. of me. Or it could be the oh dancing my. that I do be- before the show. And there's Luna in the background howling away. Can you hear her? She's <laughs> happy hear. that we're here. Oh, man. Oh, oh boy. Hey. This, if this audience is something else, what are they? Like, is they bigger oh. than a bread box? Are they. Oh, man. Animal, I need to go mineral. take care of my dog. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'll I'll you guys what. keep going. Man, let's break down stuff. what this audience is. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, mineral. Uh, animal or um, an insect? What if it's all of them? What would be? What, what would well, we consider all of those things? Uh, if something else. Minimalist, like a crystal. Um, uh, let's see. What would be? I don't know. I think they're crystallized minerals. <laughs> well, that's the that is the mineral. So that it would be like a crystal animal let's see here crystal fox and then it needs to be a vegetable as well so how about broccoli yeah crystal yeah. broccoli foxes yeah it's bigger than a bread box for sure the fox we've never huge, had like regular foxes such a crystallized audience before yeah oh man Uh oh i hope it's a good kind of crystals i love it with good energy in those crystals for sure this audience we is got it. we got to figure it out fuzzy we got it. yeah we, we figured out what the audience is oh what what are they a crystallized fox uh, with broccoli on it. So crystal fox broccoli. That sounds made up. The, well, yeah, there's something made else. It'd have to be something Jeez. made up, I guess. Okay, well. Because they're one of a kind. Well, what a way to start this episode. Let's let's start this episode by... We need a rewind clip. Rewind clip. Okay, now we need a rewind, rewind clip. We are Fuzz Jock Radio. Hello. This is a sports podcast. Believe it or not. If you want to believe it or not. If you want to believe it, you can. If you don't want to believe it, you don't have to. I don't believe in anything, so I understand if you don't want to believe it that this is a sports podcast, because I don't believe it's a sports podcast either. I am one of your Hess, who is very sick right now, so if I sound stuffed up, I am. Fuzzy, that's my name, Fuzzy. And then there's another Hess all the way out in California, and their name is... P-Dubs. And then there's another guest all the way out in minnesota and their name is i'm jay mez and then there's a luna dog all the way in my backyard that is howling so we're gonna get right into it and uh talk about how our week was how's how was your week c-dubs i had a good week um i did the new year's thingy the ev eve of the new year's with um karaoke karaoke would do you like karaoke jay mez I have missed karaoke for so long. I've actually been really wanting to do some karaoke lately. You buy a home, a home machine. That's what I have. I have my uh, own karaoke thing at dude, home. I need you to send me a link of that awesome karaoke machine you have. Heck yeah. Because oh, it's so good. I, I think about that machine and I would love that machine with wonderful. all my heart yeah. and you know, show it a good time. It was fun. And then it's got like all those vocal effects on it. So you can 
do whatever what? you want. And if people don't know how to sing, you just put on a weird effect for them and they don't feel you know insecure that they can't sing anymore. Has it got any robotic sound? Oh, dude, effects? it's got like 350 effects. Oh, okay. So I can sing ones the that Transformers are specific song. To song styles, ones that are specific to genre styles, some that are pitch specific. I mean, it's got everything. What? Yeah. Dude, yeah. So you no, say you're you say you're doing a, a country song and it's supposed to be three people singing and be your only one person. You, you like just put harmonizer. it on country trio and bam. What? Does it for you? That's some yeah. wizardry. Oh, it is wiz- That's it's so the amazing. Pe- the people who made rock band, I guess, moved on to make this after. Oh, okay. They like made this karaoke machine. So that makes some good yeah. sense. Yeah, so I did the karaoke for the New Year's, and uh, my favorite part about the karaoke for the New Year's was that we had our own audience member who just was dancing along and watching us and applauding, and that was uh, our good old friend here, Fuzzy. Oh, yeah, it was oh, New Year's, nice. wasn't it? I forgot. I loved it. I forgot. Um, and then, yeah, do we, that, was my, that was my week. Yeah. Did you did you get all the way around to um, Jamez? How was your week? Did you already talk Not about yet. that? Okay, well, Jamez, how was your week? What's going on I'll with I'll tell you. you. I'll tell you. I well, I just had a house full of family and and house guests for New Year's. Um, uh, my sister from out of town and her kids came to visit, uh, and and they weren't around for Christmas, so we kind of had a New Year's Christmas celebration over the weekend. Oh, great! Um, I tell you what, though, man, after a house full of people, including my sister's two dogs, so it was like. 38 people and 92 dogs in the house. Mm. I don't know. Mm. It felt like that, at least. Yeah. And I'm ready for, like, less people in the house right now. Mm. Everyone yeah. went home. I said, Happy New Year. Get off my land. So and, you're ready uh, for some <laughs> rest and relaxation is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm yeah, ready for that. it. Do you, do, you have a, do you have a bathtub? Yeah, I would. I was just trying to use that. If you know how to use a bathtub, you, like, maybe a YouTube it. Look it up. Uh, yeah, YouTube I'll do that. Might have a like a bathtub section on YouTube, how to use bathtubs. Yeah, bathtub let's plays. Um, YouTube bathtub let's play. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll do check, that. Check that out because the, the bathtubs are really good for rest and relaxation times. Fuzzy, yeah. how was your week? My week. Um, my week was one of those weeks that seemed like a fuzzy week, but I don't know if it was really that that fuzzy because the, the fuzziness kind of was being all weird and fuzzy-like. So let's uh, just kind of like go over to the roulette table because oh. I am oh, ready to that? push that button. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. This this episode is a lesson to the audience of why we don't do why we don't push episodes. Um, when we when we feel sick, audience. I don't know if if you're new new around here, or if you're old around here. I don't know if you remember us talking about why we. Or miss if you're middle aged. Middle aged too. That, that, like that. You're totally cool. That's what I am. Like, I, are we? I'm middle aged. I suppose. I, I am too. I'm, aren't I? If if the yeah if the Median age of adult males die around 76. Uh, I would be, totally be middle-aged. You would be too, yeah. Middle-aged. So, that, you know, like, that's that's part of it, you know? It's like, we don't have a whole lot of time here left, so we might as well, like, oh, not geez. worry about all the other shit, you know? <sighs> uh, so, yeah, this, 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 this episode's a lesson, you know? Listen to me. I can't. I can't concentrate. Maybe it's it's totally different than it usually is. You know. Um, Listen. Yeah. Oh, did we do we figure out what we're going to talk about first? Baseball no. is fun again in Minnesota. Baseball is fun again in Minnesota because we have a Hall of Fame coming up. Ooh. Yeah. And their name is Joe Mauer, right? Hall of Fame Joe Mauer. Hall is coming up. Hall of Fame Minnesota Joe Mauer zone. is Minnesota zone. Did, did they did the inductee did the induction happen? Uh, yeah. It has not quite happened yet. Uh, the voting is on is is happening still. I think last I saw it was like a uh, trending at eighty three percent towards being inducted this this round. So um, he's he's very highly anticipated to make it through the voting. Okay. 
at this awesome. point. At now this point, it's it's pretty fair to say. I think I'm a great analyst. Who is he? Who is he up against? Is is that a thing? Like he has to hit so many home runs to, against like Ken Griffey Jr. or something to, yeah. to, to beat to beat him. Yeah, I think it's um, like a few month long home run derby mm. um, with judges. Just Aaron Judge cloned a bunch of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So the judges, I'll I'll look at the different home runs and how many home runs. And count them up uh, and point them with points, you know, mm-hmm. like like judges do, yeah. pointing. Well, good luck at things. Good luck to Joe Maurer. When when's when when do we know when when when, when is there is there a date a time frame? Well, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Be honest, I don't know. Put a pin in it. We'll have to yeah. put a pin in it and find out. Come back to it when we'll know the answer. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, we don't is have that, to, is that a, we don't have. To, are we? Putting do, no, do, do, yeah. Do, let's put do, a pin do, in. Let's do, put do. a pin in it. Pin it up to the board. Putting a pin in the topic, and then we're gonna wait until we t- actually talk to you. Gotta give there me a little. A pin in up. it. Put a pin in it. Get that button ready, fuzz. Yeah. Get that button ready, and just let you guys know when I'm complaining about the sickness that I'm going through during this episode. Know that I'm not like full, fully serious about it. Um, I am. I got to I C Dubs. How was your mm. you have a moment you want to talk about in baseball? You want to talk about a moment involving baseball. And James, you haven't heard this yet, so you'll, you'll think this is neat. Cool. Uh so Yamamoto signed with the Dodgers and he had his contract uh you know mo- uh, press conference the other day. And uh after it was over, they did like press photos. He was on the mound taking pictures, meeting all the executives, all that shit. I actually saw him on the mound. I took a few snaps of him just standing there for the first time ever in his uniform. And then uh, just before the end of the day, they called us up and said, hey, can you deliver some stuff to Top? Uh, top that's where the Top of the Park shop is. Okay. And they said, Yamamoto's coming up here to buy stuff. We need some stuff to be ready for him. So I, I ran up there with the merch. And, uh, yeah, he was he was there shopping with all his, you know, buddies or his uh, you know agent, his translator, mm. some other people, cool. uh, along with the executives for the Dodgers. And... He was looking around the store, and mm-hmm. everyone was also shopping too. And I was up there, and I noticed and this, this is that, moment with this him. is that really big name player that we were talking about last week, right? Yeah, the pit, the uh, pitcher who yeah. from Japan who was just signing in America for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's going to be Shohei Otani too. He's Shohei Otani too. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, but uh, people are not, not so he. He turns the corner from looking at jerseys and he looks up at the TV, which is always on the MLB network. And while he's looking at it, it changes from one story to another. The next story they talk about is his uh, press conference. Yep. And I notice him see himself in a Dodger uniform for the first time ever and have that moment to himself of, oh my God, my dream has come true. This is real. That's my, that's me in the Dodger uniform. Like, dude, I took a step back. Cool. I can't imagine how he was feeling at that time, at that yeah, moment. You can right? see the smile on his face, the real like, like awe moment. Like, that's Holy a big shit. thing. That's a big thing for him. Yeah, and his Huge. agent noticed. Only me and his agent noticed. Oh, and really? His agent walked up to him and like they kind of had a little conversation, pointing at the TV, like you know, hey, this is there. It is. It's real, man. You know, and like it was really cool to notice this happen. That's because awesome, dude. No one else saw it except for his agent and me. Yeah, that's very special. That's at a that very moment, special moment. For somebody to the go through. The agent looked over at C-Dubs and winked. And there was a sparkle <laughs> in his tooth. Yes. And, and then... C-Dubs knew at that moment that they would be best friends. So C-Dubs True. and Game Yoshinobu's agent are going to be the next I'm glad that thing. I that way instead Big of Big thing end. in baseball. I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm really happy that that happened that way instead of like an NDA cool. needed to be signed or something. Because that would have sucked. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really yeah. that's really great, bud. Um, yeah, I was really a, happy to see that moment. Spe- it's definitely a special moment to be part of. Um, do we have any other baseball news that we want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to say that I saw about an old twin who's doing some good stuff in the Dominican Republican League. Ooh. And that's our old me. buddy, Miguel Sino. Yeah. Yeah. I... Um, I, for, I wish I knew the specifics, uh, exactly what league it was, but but he's playing. I saw some highlights. He's hitting dingers. He looks like he's uh, slimmed down a bit too, and like 
in pretty good form. So um, I don't know if we'll see a, a major league comeback from him or not, but uh, it's always cool to see that like he's still playing. He's doing well. Yeah, and have, and having success and taking care, you know, doing the things that it takes to still be in the league or mm-hmm. be in baseball. You know, he's not just yeah. gone. Whether it be MLB or not, it's fine. He's still playing baseball. That's good. Yeah. Miguel Sano. He doesn't know himself. Past players, where are they now? Past players. Oh my God, Wes Welker's back on the Dolphins. Was that the right time to play that? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, ready? Roulette time again? Uh Roulette time. So, like, my, my whole thing with, like, I not wanting to radio. push it through a sickness is that I, I I just know, I just know that I'm not going to be able to provide uh, a quality product that we always provide through Fuzz Jock Radio's quality assuredness. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm sick, I'm I'm talking about, like, thinking about my sickness more than I am thinking about actually doing the show because the show doesn't fully exist right now since I'm on, you know, cold medicine and stuff. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. D- don't, don't like rate this. Don't rate this a one star just because I'm a little off my game. Uh, make sure to make rate this one a five star maybe actually because yeah, of I'm just off the game. No, this is with the weights on, but we're not doing so. this. Yeah, with the weights on. And we're not doing this to show you that we can do it. It's just that I made a, 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 a rash, de- rash decision thinking, you know what? It's, <laughs> it's, it's January 1st. It's a new year. Like, let's like let's like turn a new leaf. That's what you do in a new year, right? 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 Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, let's not miss an episode this year. Oh, Jesus Christ, Fuzz. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, bud? <laughs> uh, basketball. The Timberwolves are still doing fucking red hot, even though they, they lost tonight. They lost a couple yeah. games since our last broadcast, I think. But yeah, they're still top of the market, right? They're twenty four oh, yeah. and eight I right think now. They only lost two or three. Yeah, they did lose a couple. Not many, really. No, not compared to like that. other years. I mean, they have more. They already have more wins, I think, than they have in pre- previous seasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's. Um, I've Just noticed January. on uh, the Timberwolves subreddit that that they've been chronicling every time they've gotten a win. Like this matches up with Timberwolves season, you know, this year where they only had twelve wins, you know, wow. on the whole year. You and just that? like every with every win, they've they've matched it up with like a another horrible season that they that was like all the wins they got that year. I I, re- and, I remember. Going through the list uh, a couple seasons ago on our Fuzz Jock Radio and like looking through the rankings and always seeing them at the very, very, very bottom and seeing like oh and twelve, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember those days, and this is really, really awesome to have them, uh, have them up here. Um, Unbelievable. Kind of like the, uh, the Hall of Fame, uh, in baseball, they have the All Star. No, no, that's not. They have the All Star Game coming up soon. That's that's not comparable. Those are apples and oranges. Uh, they don't really have an NBA like all, uh, Hall of Fame per se. That's official. So I mean, the NBA doesn't have a Hall of Fame. A, it's not really theirs. We should look like the, they, we should figure that. They don't really. We should we should make one for them so they so they have a Hall of Fame. Maybe next next season when we don't have NBA news. We have we start listing our Hall of Famers for the NBA. Ooh, I yeah, like okay. that. Plus, Jack Radio's NBA, NBA uh, Hall of Famers will. Let's put, put a, a pin, pin in, in that it. One. Pin it up to the board. Putting a pin in the topic, and then we're gonna wait until we actually. It sounds talk great. To you. I think that sounds like a great idea. There we go. A pin in it. Put a pin in it. So, uh, NBA All Star Game. The All Star Breaks coming up, and like the Hall of Fame baseball hall of fame the 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 fans get to vote for yeah, the we All-Stars. are the Aaron judges right. of the world we're the Aaron judges so 
Who, who do you want on 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 the all? Like, oh, hey, here we go. We'll go. Oh. We all know what that sound means, or what this jingle is. It's time for the fuzz question of the week. So for the fuzz question of the week is when we ask, I ask the Hess a question and they answer the question and we just move on from the, uh, from the, from the question. We don't even discuss it. Jamez, who do, would you like to have on the NBA all-star team? Or would just pick one player? 100% Nas Reed. Okay. And C-dubs. Go with Ant. And that was your... Buzz question okay. of the week. Okay, that was all basketball. You guys have any more basketball news? Timberwolves are so good. They're going the whole way. That's They're it. going the whole way for sure. just happened in AEW and uh, how amazing was it guys they had a flaming table they did have a flaming table didn't they yeah, no spoilers but, but like the flaming table happened yeah right uh Eddie it, and Mox had a better had... ending than when Cody went through one. Oh, also there was barely any blood yes that oh. was that was interesting yeah um I, I think Garcia had a bloody nose but who knows if that was actually from the match or if it was just from uh you know, dry air. He's picking his nose. He could have been picking probably, his nose. Probably had too many boogers in there. Yeah, so barely Doc any blood. Said I wouldn't have so many bloody noses if I just kept my finger out of there. A flaming table. Yeah. Um, No Kenny Omega because Kenny it. Omega's hurt. And we He's haven't sick. talked about that at all, have we? No. Uh, currently, Kenny Omega, the best belt machine Right? Is that his, one of his mm-hmm. best belt machine? He is is indefinitely off the roster. He's indefinitely injured. Uh, the doctors took him off the list or put him on the list of injured players. Um, Kenny Omega has some diverticulitis. That mm-hmm. is it, diverticulitis. Yeah, which is like an intestine infection type of thing, and it got really bad. And um, yeah, he's bedridden and um, currently oh, in. Oh indefinitely injured this and this has been such a sudden thing and honestly like uh barely even like i don't know it uh, it's like one of those moments where like i haven't really even come to terms until just like recently with like the fact of it's like, weird it's weird it you, sucks because it was very sudden like like james is like you're saying bud uh, all, out of nowhere, he just tweeted, "I'm indefinitely not wrestling because of this, of of this." Yeah, and it, he's been dealing with it for a while. And it. yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully he gets better soon. We don't want him to rush through it because, you know, the show shouldn't just go on. If you're sick, stay in bed and 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 get healthy. Because you can't put on the best show, you can't be the best belt machine if you are injured and work trying to work through it. Because like me with the sickness right now, I can't even understand what's going on. You know? Yeah. You know, it's 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 wild. Um, you might end the show like realizing you've given yourself a haircut. Exactly. <laughs> and wake up tomorrow being like, oh god, oh. where did this haircut come from? Oh, uh, and so, yeah. Kenny, stay in bed. Don't fight through it. Just get better, you know, and then come back when you're healthy. And and then with Kenny on the sidelines, uh, it made it so that the end of the world had no elite representation because uh, Hangman Adam Page had had no match. The 
the uh, the Elite Brothers. We haven't seen them, the Young Bucks, since since they had the that tantrum, and they, yeah. and they turned the the their channel, the YouTube channel, the being the being the Elite over to the Dark Order. And now they're the Dark Order is controlling that YouTube channel. There was no Elite representation whatsoever. For the first time. For the first yeah. time in any pay per AEW pay per view. How what do you think of that, guys? It sh- I think it shows the strength of the, the company now. Like they don't need them. Like, mm-hmm. they, I mean not saying they don't need them, but like they don't absolutely need to rely on them. I think that's a good thing. Right? <laughs> yeah. I think I mean even even with because I, I think Jericho hasn't missed one yet, but like this could have also been a show that didn't need didn't need to rely on Jericho even. Jericho could have told absolutely could have stepped aside as as soon yeah. as uh as soon as soon as Kenny was injured, he should have stepped he could have stepped aside as a tag team partner and been like, okay, my tag team partners. He showed up actually should have done that. Yeah, I mean I'm okay with them with the match they picked just because Sting and him have never wrestled together. True. So at least you get the, like the one time ever they both are doing their submission holds together in the same moment in the ring. But other than that, yeah, they really didn't need to do that. They could have done that differently though. They could have had a better, more natural angle for them to to work together, or at least given time for the two legends and two pillars match. You know, yeah, on the same for sure. Uh, so, but you know, with injuries, you never know what's going to happen. And mm-hmm. yeah, people, uh, if you're sick or if you're injured, just tell your company to. do Fuck off and stay home and give you money to stay home. You know? Yeah. Those companies have enough money to take care of their employees. You know? Uh, So also with the year's end happening, as in the year, the calendar year being uh, done, a lot of contracts are up. One of them being MJF. And MJF's, uh, actually MJF's picture was taken off of, the oh, roster on the AEW's website. So, do you think he is going to re-sign at some point, or has he already signed a contract with a different company? Uh, I think he's already re-signed with AEW. You think it's yeah, I think yeah, I think it's kayfabe. Also, yeah. I think I think. But it too. Um, uh, one one person who's not re-signing, or probably maybe maybe didn't get offered a, a re-signing contract uh the chairman sean spears sean spears is on the list yep he's gone yeah he's so i hope he gets picked up because he's he's a very enjoyable wrestler to watch um the, and andrade is done andrade is yep. now done as well he hasn't resigned, or at least his contract expired and they haven't signed new contracts yeah he's, and then he's heavily rumored to be in agreements with the big the big one, as they say. I can see that. I can totally see that. Uh, as far as wife wrestles. so Yep. And it would be great to have them be together. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn off my phone. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, but one person. And then there was somebody else. Who heavily else? suspected not in agreements with the big one anymore. And is suspected to land in AEW. The beautiful one and only Miss Mercedes Monet. Ooh. And why do you say that, JMS? I just um, the dirt sheets mostly. But the oh. dirt sheets have also said that both companies have not offered enough. So well, then yeah, I, they, I have I have sheets. I have something about that. But but before we move right into more Mercedes Monet, we also need to mention that QT Marshall also did not resign. Oh yeah, his contract either. Uh, his contract was expired, and he's ve- been very influential in the company. Um, mm-hmm, with training and mm-hmm. in the uh, in, in behind the scenes and stuff like that, and he's a great wrestler. But yeah, but Mercedes Monet uh, was actually not mentioned by the fabulous or timeless St- Tony Storm, but indirectly spoke of the timeless Tony Storm indirectly spoke of Mercedes Monet in the scrum. She said something along the lines of that Tony, her boss, would be mad if she said this. But there's a lot of money in the name of a certain wrestler that needs to sign a contract at some point. Yeah. And there's a lot of money behind that. There isn't there. There's a lot of money behind that. But I can't say who it is. But I would yeah, really yeah, like yeah. to wrestle that person. It's like, timeless like that. you'll have to check out the scrum and see exactly what it was. Uh, next up, 
Next up. Uh, anything else with the AEW that you want to speak of? The devil was revealed, but we're not going to talk about it because we want you guys to find out yourselves. A secret. All right? Unless you know. It's one, of yeah. the, it's one of the wrestlers that you figured out. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say it that way. You you probably already figured out who it was. You probably already figured it <laughs> out. That's, that's what I want to say. Okay, yeah. Taylor Swift time, right? You guys are ready to I go believe. to other sports? Oh, I'd love to. Ping pong, for sure. Is pickleball skiing? What is the highest level of car racing called? Curly. Other sports? Acro yoga? Agro yoga? Acro, <laughs> like acrobatic. It is a fusion of tennis, ping pong, and badminton. What sport starts with a tip off? Basketball. Basketball. Nope, incorrect. <laughs> other sports. It's a very social game. Fight each other to the death. Like NFTs or something. You have to hit the ball. Other sports topics. So are there multiple major leagues? I went to a soccer game in Dallas, in Paris, in California, in England. Go up to a soccer game and be in the supporter section. Teach them how to play pickleball. Why not? Free lessons when I come up. How many clubs can a golfer have in their bag? Tiger, Tiger, Woods. Woods. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Might as well tune out now because I don't have another sports button yet. Tiger Woods. But not Tiger Woods. No. It's time Swift. for everyone's favorite sport, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Best yep. sport of all. Our update for Taylor Swift this week is a pretty good achievement. Uh, you know, sports are all about records and breaking them and setting them. Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift broke the famous athlete uh, Elvis's record for holding the top spot in the Billboard's top 100 for she one... She now has held the number one for 123 weeks consecutively. She wow. beat Elvis? Elvis. Elvis. The Elvis. The 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 king. The king. The not Elvis. Just, not just the king of pop, oh, but the Cuddle. king. Right? Yes. Like Michael Jackson was called the king of pop. He wasn't just called the king. So no, it, Elvis was the king. So does that, that make So does that make He's Taylor the Swift the king now? Yep, she's the king. The true king? Is, is that yeah. what's, what's well, higher the king than of the king. king? She's the king of kings. The, the king queen of kings. Of, not the queen of kings, right? Because people are stupid, right? Yeah. Or the king of queens, because that's that show on TV. TV. Show. Not the king of queens. The, the no, true... The king the, of kings. The, the, the king of kings. Mm -hmm. Wow. 123 weeks. That's a fucking long time. It's a really that's long like time. That's like nine years almost. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it helps that she re-released -re like three albums and then released a new album, so that does help. Well, are you are you insinuating that she's stacking her records? No, I think it's actually it proves how good she is because her re-releases of the albums are completely to make people never listen to the old ones again because of the royalties uh, right? reasons that she deserves to have re-recorded to make the money off them. Capitalism. Someone else bought her library. Capitalism. Yes, right. so she's bucking that, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, screw the old shit. We don't want those people to make money. We're going to work hard for this to be the now standard. And so her re-releases are now the new standard. Which, which is actually pretty amazing, uh, considering that people already heard those releases, right? Like, yeah. I'm sure that she improved the new releases, and part of the reason why other people are, you know, people are re-listening or revisiting her catalogs is to see if they can tell a difference between, between the two. Which I'm sure there are. Do you think she threw in uh, Easter eggs? Ooh, I bet she did. Oh, I mean, why not? That would like if she didn't, like Taylor. What are you thinking? Missed opportunity, you know. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, I make it a make it a game. It is it is pretty amazing for her to set those records with old material. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think she gained a lot of new fans with her newest album too, because like oh, I'm sure, I'm that, sure there's way that, more. That album turned a lot of people on who were never Swift fans before to be like, wait, maybe this is good. Maybe Swift isn't so bad. Or or is she maybe it is the best sport? Or is she the epitome of um, oh, what do you call it? Um, what I deal with, where you're like, I'm not doing it. Uh, imposter syndrome. Yeah, imposter. She's the she's the epitome of imposter syndromes. Like as soon as she put out an album, she already had a billion fans. Like <laughs> right away, she didn't start off with like just mom and dad. As soon as she was born, she was a billion fans. Right, Taylor Swift. That's the way it works. That's how that's how stuff works, right? People are already. If you know what imposter syndrome no is, you know you know what I'm talking about. Um, I think so. She's just the best sport ever. 
She, she is the best sport. She is the best sport. She is a good sport, you know? She's she's a good sport. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sport. Kind of like we should use that to blend into the sport that's trying to ride her yeah. coattails. Oh, okay, you're eating a bone. What is that? She was eating a bone, guys. Don't worry. She wasn't eating the ch- the chair wheel. I thought she was eating the chair oh, wheel. Because one of the newest things at grandma's is that she eats the, the leg of chairs. Oh, Whoa. no. Yeah. yeah so it's an awesome thing. I'm like, well, uh, well, Grandma and Grandpa, why are you letting Luna eat the chair legs? Oh, those are old chairs. That's not a, no. No, no. Uh, I'm sorry, I lost track. Where were we, we at? Get, are we, Taylor uh, Swift. Are we done with Taylor truly, Swift? Yes, let's sport. move on to truly the sport that's trying to ride her coattails. Hockey? Uh, Do we already talk about hockey? No. No, we got to talk about NFL, too. What else do we talk about? Baseball? Basketball? Yep, we did baseball, we did NBA, we did wrestling, and quick. I don't remember. Ice hockey was playing. Yeah, so let's... Uh, uh, hockey. The Wild also lost today. Uh, which is but fine. they've been really good lately. But they, Because they've been really good lately. Exactly. Uh, with that interim coach, I, I thought that they they got rid of the old coach and just put in a brand new coach, and they're they're going to have him as the coach. But that's not that's not the case. He's the interim. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think he's not the permanent coach yet. Oh, do we know what that guy's name is? No, no, no one okay. does. No, yeah, because he's just he's the interim, just so. this mysterious guy that just showed up, and then all of a sudden he's like telling everyone the right thing. Well, uh, how to play hockey, how to put that puck in the net like that. Yeah. That's what the old coach mentioned is that he was able to coach them to the net, but wasn't able to get the puck in the net. And he didn't know how, I mean, how that works. He, he was, no one, he was kind no of confused. One, no one knows that it isn't me. No, no, no. It could be. Cause I've been known to say things about looking around and communicating mm-hmm. they, they, they could be quite helpful for you know team-based sports you know if they looked around a little bit more they might be able to know where the net is and then if they knew where the communicating came in they would know how to get that puck in that net right? exactly all right that, yeah that, that's exactly how it goes so, so good, good job interim coach good job james i'm glad that you became the wilds and head coach i'm may sorry or may that not be me I'm sorry that we're busting open well, the... They'll, they'll unmask the coach of the wild of the end of this season. Jamez, breaking news, Jamez might or might not be the wild's new coach. Interim coach, interim coach. Yeah, interim. So that's good. That's good news. Uh, the women's league is... What? Wait. Hold there's on. a there's a new uh, women's league starting. I almost went right into it like I already knew that, and I had no idea. <laughs> no, let me tell you. Okay. There's a new women's hockey league in town, oh, that's and Minnesota awesome. has a team. Oh, what's their team's name? Well, uh, I don't know. You're not sure because this this is um, okay. So recently there was a PW no a PHL a PHL uh, a PHL professional hockey league uh, women's league, and we had the Minnesota Whitecaps. Mm-hmm. Now that league got bought out and. This is the rebranding of that league. It is now the PWHL, Prof- uh, Professional Women's Hockey League. Okay. Um, and and this this uh, may be anecdotal, um, but I'm not sure if any of the teams actually have names. If they're just trying to kind of solidify the branding of the league. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. The, uh, so I don't know that the teams have names. They might, they not might even just have be name, yeah. the Minnesota team, New York team, uh, and so forth. But you know, I think that's a better idea because then you're not at the chance of harming you know somebody's opinion of your team because like you call them the Minnesota Penguins, and so people would be like get all up in arms about it, you know, because there's no Penguins in Minnesota. Yeah. Like, I think, like we've talked before, teams should just be municipal. It should just be the Minnesota team. Yeah, for sure. You know, but, uh, do you think well, that the yeah. players should just come from Minnesota then, and then have all states have their own team? Yeah, I think I so. Think, 
in a national league, yes. If you did a global league, then different. I think it would be different. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah. And um, and who knows? Maybe maybe they are also called the Minnesota Whitecaps. Who but knows? There are we'll Whitecaps see. on the lakes, so that yep. that that would make sense. If that to all the any of the detractors you know out there, I do yeah. like it when they do change names of teams though. I just want to put that out there too. You know, all all these all these answers can be put to bed tomorrow. They have their first game, uh, and I I believe they are all being broadcast on YouTube. Oh, fun! Oh, I like that because that's a chance that it will be free for me to watch. Yeah. And you, we should all check that out. I hope that I am you, correct in that. I will say that uh, I'm a great analyst. We're not going to post it on our on our website. I would, I would make a joke that I would post it on our websites and our social medias of when the schedules are, but we never actually do that. So I'm not going to like lead lead anybody on and say that we're going to do that. But I would like to do say that if you like what we're doing. You could go to fuzztalkshop.com and purchase a t-shirt and support the uh, the podcast by buying yourself uh, some merchandise. That's fuzztalkshop.com. I don't know why I just said that. I have the jingle at the end of the episode that I usually yeah, I like on. Me too. Um, it's fun. Uh, do we go into the next topics? Do we have anything else? Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking, That's hockey. I'm really say. looking. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Women's hockey. That, that'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for some football? That's the one we haven't talked about yet. Football? Correct. Right? Yes. Okay, we haven't talked about football. We didn't talk, and we also didn't talk about the Vikings last week. And so we probably should talk about them this week. And this week, uh, they lost to the Packers. Yep, two oh. divisional losses in a row. I didn't watch that at all. You know, it wasn't and, good. And I, I so recently I've been streaming my video games, and I I let it out to know that to the the world because the world's watching me on these streams, right? That uh, I I didn't know that the playoffs were happening soon. They're coming up, I believe. Um, uh, next, la- the last week of the season is next week. When when did that happen? Oh, it happened suddenly, man. So did we this... were just doing these podcasts and just rolling along and thinking, I guess, I guess. like, who are these Vikings? And then all of a sudden, we had a different quarterback who's like, we're a rocket scientist time. Here yeah, we go. And it's like, no, we is got another still quarterback. Our quarterback? It's like, no, this guy's the rookie. Is no, nah, we got another quarterback, and that's what's basically been happening. Oh wow! And then, uh, so yeah. this Packers game that we lost to, did that? They probably did not help us get into the playoffs. I think it's solidified we can't now. Well, I mean, oh. we we can, but it takes other stuff for it to happen for mm. us to be able to get in. Yeah, but, like, I was I was turn? reading that this game was uh, win, like a playoff elimination for the losing team based on a couple other games, how they went. So um, that probably tracks with what C-Dubs is saying. So the, the, the rocket scientist didn't work out. Nope, Rocket Titan just didn't work out. Did he get hurt too? He got hurt. Oh, oh, jeez. Along, with, I mean, everyone got hurt. Every single one of them got hurt, along with be- playing bad and getting benched. So mm-hmm. everyone's had everything happen. So this is what, like, I was, I'll, I was actually su- suspecting this would happen in, the, in this season. Last season, it was the new administration, and they're like, okay, we're just gonna go with the old administration's team. And then the next year, we're going to make a little bit of twerks, but, you know, not too much because we want a full, like, clean slate. And now after this season going so bad, they can do a full clean slate of players and get in the new administration's players, right? That's how it's, football yeah, works, right? pretty clear. That's how football works. I mean, otherwise, it, guarantee coming back. otherwise, it sounds like it might be rigged. Well... I think it is rigged now. I never thought this before, but now I definitely think so. Why is that? So since this is so weird that this, I mean, it's not weird because the statistics. Do you line like up. that transition? I'm going to point it out. That was I loved good. it. Yeah. Okay. So the NFL has had they follow the like gambling has always existed, but never to the legal rate it is now. Yep. And there was something like never had more than two hundred and fifty thousand bets been placed on a game. You know, more than like so many times ever. Okay. More than that is placed on every single game since gambling has happened. 
since the gambling's become legal and all that. So that's every game has a minimum of the maximum from the past because there's um, a more players, uh, more people playing, right? Like more, more. Yes. Just there's more opportunities to gamble now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Legally, yes. mm -hmm. and so since then, and the NFL is partial owner with many of these companies like FanDuel or involved with them like, um like FanDuel right like oh no we, let's right, not, let's not name let's, names not, I'm sorry let's yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry um sorry FanDuel so I don't know what that's you're... since that started someone has taken the stats of the every game that's had a spread ever like who's beaten the spread or whatever since forever okay. they've always had about the same percentage rate same number consistent until the year that started and then now, all of a sudden, when it when like a huge spread change is going to happen and win for say people who would win a lot of money who shouldn't have, it fixes all of a sudden and it goes back the other way so that it doesn't happen. Like there seems to be this switching of in every one of these games has some mm. kind of referee call mm. that prevents the from going the way it should. Um, that sounds pretty or, it is previously. So. That's what's got me really weird is that this consistently is happening in games that are going against the the norm. Yeah. I mean, well, the, the problem is with with all this, Charles. And we were we were speaking of this in the very beginning of when the sports or the sports were starting to be taken over by gambling is that once gambling's in the system, we can't fully for sure, for sure, say it's happening or it's not happening, because money is now involved, and people can say that they're not, not you know, swinging the bets. But when there's millions of dollars on the line, billions there's of dollars on the of, line, what stops a lot them from of really doing bad it? umpire calls? That makes me think of, you know, there's so there's a one chance. One way to fix it though mm -hmm. is more review and proper adjustment of calls if bad calls happen. For example, there are too often the people at home know that the referee made a wrong call and the game continues and ends the way it shouldn't. Yeah. And that's not good for the sport. In fact, cricket is one of the highest bet sports period of all time. And that sport has had to embrace review, change, all that to keep the sport going because it was not helping people to be like, I know that was wrong and I've lost money because of it. This is fucked up. So they've embraced it completely. And that's why even f soccer around the world has embraced replay for the same reason as it's hurting the sport. If people are losing money, knowing that's not the right call. And it gives us more reason also to have robot umps and hear this. Out, 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 out. All of it. Right, uh, because if 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 you're going to have gambling involved, you have to take away any course of action of it being rigged, yes. and the only way you can do that is by, to bring in technology, to bring in instant replays. Not and no opinion. Like the 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 refs can't say, "Oh no, we can't watch that review." You have to review yeah. all of it. It has to be. It ha it has to happen. Uh, otherwise. There's that feeling of there's a possibility that it's rigged. And then that just, just totally takes away any pure sports aspects, mm -hmm. right? And they just had a big call on this recently with the Dallas and Lions game the other night. Dallas won the game because the Lions converted a two-point conversion that was taken away because a player didn't report as eligible. Because that would have given the Lions the win. So everyone goes back and watches the video the player they claim didn't report, reported. Huh. It's clear. They have video of it. They see it happening. And so the at least one thing good came out of this. Those referees are suspended from uh, refereeing in the postseason. Well, there you go. There was at least a course of action to change hmm. something, but that is fucking weird. It's, that is. It sucks. It sucks that there's just that degree. There's a, a degree of uncertainty now. You know yeah. what I mean? Because there's so much money involved in gambling with, with the sports. What do you, what do you, did Jamez? I, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a loss of integrity. There you and, go. Uh, and I don't care for it. There you go. That's that's the right word. Loss of integrity. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, 
NFL rigged. Nick, do we want to talk about Nick? I don't even know who Nick is Not anymore. Like I thought, I heard I thought I heard a lot of people ask. Well, at this point, does anyone care who Nick Mullins is? Because he's like fourth the guy string, we traded for? fourth string quarterback. Oh, he's like the, just the, the, yeah, okay. belaboring the the mm-hmm. Vikings rough season. So mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know that we need to get into that at this point. Is it time? How does the song go again? Is it time? Oh yeah. Memory. Trivia. 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 You know what, guys? I think this was the Thank best you. episode ever already. This is already the best episode ever. Yeah. Have yeah. fun. Thank best you. Best episode ever already. This is already the best episode yeah. ever. Yeah, I think so. Um, Fuzzy Memory Trivia Time? I don't have it. Oh, yeah. I don't have it pulled up yet, guys. I'm sorry. I'm ready. Was I'm ready a, to uh, was that Fuzzy Memory fuzzy? and Trivia. Was that all the topics? That was yeah. all every single topic. That's everything? Okay. We are so conclusive huh. when we talk about sports. We do a good job at it, I believe. Thanks. We're experts at not being experts about sports. Dude, no one can unexpert our expertise ever. That's why think we about do this that. wonderful trivia at the end. Think about that. Okay, so uh, which country is known as the birthplace of modern soccer? Rome. England. What is the term for a zero score in tennis? Love. Both of you got it, but at the same time, correct. And uh, who is the most decorated Olympian of all time? Michael Phelps. Correct. Jamez. In which sport might you choke up on the bat? Baseball. Baseball. C-dubs. How many periods are there in a NHL hockey t- game? Three. C-dubs. Three. <laughs> Which athlete is known for winning the battle of the sexist tennis match? Oh, Billy Jean. Uh, yeah, it's correct. Jamez. And that was. Oh, where's the button? <laughs> oh, I lost the button, guys. Oh, uh, uh, memory trivia. Oh, memory trivia. Oh, wait. How so, you did a good job. Oh, yeah. Memory. Everybody's all tied up in the fuzzy memory trivia. Uh, I need to figure out more more trivia. I think we're going over a lot of the same, a lot of the same questions. We should. You don't we should, think we we're just get, getting really not smart? Do sports trivia. Do not do sports trivia. Do something else. Do, do, do random weird trivia's. We could probably do something like that. Like yeah, you know. Uh, I just think we're getting really smart. Did we? That too. Why can't we talk about? any other topics to talk about guys no okay okay that's fine nope. that's that's totally all right we went through we, we were conclusive with everything that we needed to talk about i need to grab some garbage out of my dog's mouth while c-dubs talks a little bit oh i will say my good uh, what i'm gonna do for the next week um let's tell see. us tell us do? all regal us days off and then back to work and then that's the beginning of the 2024 here we go 2024 give me some more of 2024 yeah i tell you what i'm trying more more life more life 2024 it's new year's i'm trying to get some uh you know some inspiration for some new minecraft builds because i've been playing that game and just Kind of on a lull, you know, looking at yeah. these builds and be like, it needs something or like, mm. you know. You should look at the YouTubes. Not, not sponsored. Oh, yeah. But there's, yeah. A, there's, there's some Biffa and Double O. I'm going to pick up my guitar a bunch, too. Ask, ask that Artie Monk. I haven't uh, done that. And as we get into Ooh, the winter. That's good. I'm going to uh, get, some, get a, a bunch of these skills in practice. Yeah. Uh, Buzz, you? Me? Uh, I am going to get better. Do it. Yeah. I'm oh, going me to. too. Can I pick that one too? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm just sick. Thank you for tuning yeah. in. It sucks. If you would like to support, head on over to our shop, buzztalkshop.com. That's F U Z Z T A L K S H O P dot C O L. Buy yourself a hoodie or t shirt. We even have mugs and stickers. And I just want all of us over at Buzz Talk Radio, 
we appreciate your support. I just want to also remind everybody, me mentioning that I'm sick, I don't want anybody to feel bad for me. 